As election season just heats up in the U.S., it is now over in France. And the world's fifth largest economy just chose to make a major change. Francois Hollande will become France's first socialist president in 17 years, defeating Nicolas Sarkozy in a runoff. Mark Phillips is in Paris tonight. Mark, good evening. Good evening. Well, France's new president is a man few would have predicted as little as a year ago. But a combination of Europe's economic woes and the personal affairs of others have catapulted Francois alone into power. His election will have consequences well beyond France. There's nothing like victory to get a crowd cheering, especially when it's a crowd that hasn't tasted victory in a long time. Francois Hollande is the new president of France, only the second socialist president elected here in more than 50 years. He had campaigned on a platform of reversing the cost-cutting austerity measures that France and the rest of Europe have adopted. And tonight he said he'd keep his promises. The outgoing president, Nicolas Sarkozy, was gracious in defeat, telling his supporters to respect the people's choice. They took some convincing. Hollande's margin was smaller than the polls had indicated. In the end, based on exit polls, it was only in the 3 to 4 percent range. Hollande profited from frustration with France's stagnant economy and from the fact the French electorate had tired of a president it never fully embraced. Sarkozy was criticized for his high living lifestyle and his glamorous wife, Carla Bruni. Five years of Sarkozy is enough. Hollande, though, has made his own tabloid headlines. His current partner is French journalist Valérie Trévaler, who he met when she interviewed him. His previous partner for 30 years was the socialist candidate in the last election here, Ségolène Royal, who was the mother of his four children. Hollande, though, is from the lucky school of politician. He only became his party's candidate because the man who was thought to be the shoe-in for the nomination, Dominique Strauss-Kahn, became embroiled in that sex scandal in New York. If he keeps his election promises, Francois Hollande may dramatically change Europe's approach to its economic problems. He's promised more government spending and more government jobs. That puts him very much at odds with Germany's Angela Merkel, and that is likely to unsettle the euro and to rattle financial markets. Tomorrow could be a nervous day. Mark Phillips, thank you very much.